in America we all have rights, and our rights are established by foreign conversations. What I mean by that is that every nation around the world has regulations for their people. And those people are also regulated by the governmental agencies of the world, like the United Nations, the World Trade Federation, and others that help those nations and those countries interact in the world. The liars of America like to abuse people with chemistries, poisons, and other things. I find this morning that I'm still having problems in my shoes and in my socks because someone likes to play with those things. American culture is not set up for abusers that are warfare-oriented people. America knows the rules of treason because we've had several presidents that have bridged the gap to that. The truth is that you as an international citizen can be committing treason on behalf of your country, so I want you to make sure that if you decide to come to America, you know what those treason acts can do to you. That if you're caught doing something abusive to an American citizen under the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, you could end up in real peril. Those typical war crimes are punishable in a lot of places by the loss of life. The loss of life is not something that God regards lightly. The loss of life and taking of life is something that God's angels do regularly. People often talk about death in a light-hearted way, but the absolute truth is that Jesus Christ and his angels are murderers in every way. They murder our people. Now, what I mean by that is they take the life. When my father was laying for a week in a coma, his life was taken. I cannot say that's my fault, but I did pray for his release to God. And in that exact moment of time, literally seconds after the prayer ended, my eldest sister called and said my father had passed into the spirit realm. Now since his passing, I have seen him in my dreams three times. He's looking dapper in his suit and openly walking just fine. The life of a man is always the life of a man, and the man who loves him is not who loves him. Jesus Christ is known to love all his people. The Lord God above, Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, are what pagans adhere to. That the Jesus that we all know of Nazareth was a prophet and the son of those deities. Those deities also have other children like me and like you, but that doesn't make us gods. This is what it was an abomination in one of the journey shops that was in the Noblesville area. It talked a lot about creation and other aspects of our nation and our religions that most people don't know about. The man did have metaphysical skills, but he often used it to abuse people, to steal from people, to harm people, and I guarantee he interfered with my life love and me. Because his wife at the time asked him what was the name of the girl, and I'd never given it out to anyone, but in that moment of time I felt like I had to create rapport. So I mentioned it, and lo and behold, after it, that woman that I was in love with was checking me over for the things I was doing there and teaching for them and making a profit for them. Now, the gentleman was always kind, but I also think he enjoyed the fact that I was in struggle because of my attitude would be his, his, his statement, because of my arrogance this might be someone else's statement. But once you've achieved a life that really produces a life, if he had listened to me in any way, he might still have his shop. So that's the difference. I can attempt to help people who are light workers, and I can suggest to them what they should do. But it's always amazing how they won't take my advice and counsel despite I created a very profitable life for myself and my family under the hours of the day that I had to do that. And yet they'll steal other things from me. Isn't that nice? And it doesn't help them make any more money when they do that.